We live in a moment, probably the most commodified, commercialized, uh, uh, marketized culture in the history of the world. Every nook and cranny shot through with obsession, with money making and profit taking. 30 years ago, that was not the case. We were still the same human beings with the same ugly proclivities, but there's less gas in our spiritual tanks Mm. in the present moment. Mm. Spiritual malnutrition is much more pervasive And by spiritual malnutrition, I'm not just talking about emptiness of soul, but I'm talking about an indifference to the suffering of others, a callousness to those who are catching hell. Great Rabbi Abraham Joshua Hesher used to say, indifference to evil is more insidious than evil itself. Mm. But William James, probably the greatest and most lovable and adorable of all public intellectuals in America in the last 200 years, he said, indifference is the one trait that makes the very angels weep. It's the very opposite of what it is to follow the way of the cross as opposed to the dominant ways of the world. And so anytime we talk about civility, I want to begin on a spiritual note and talk about a piety. And by piety, I'm not talking about blind acceptance, and I'm talking about uncritical deference to doctrine or dogma. I'm talking about a way of life in which you acknowledge those sources of good in your life to win at your back so you remember, so you can revere something bigger than you, and you have the courage to resist in the name of, for me, a kingdom of God, a beloved community. But even if you're not Christian, there's some other good things Mm. to fight for. Mm. 